Yeah. Hi. So, mm. yeah. So, our idea of doing today is because we've got a lot of questions in our inbox. So, the idea of us actually doing this live is because we've been constantly getting different questions about this new normal, and there are a lot of personal uh, concerns, challenges, and we're actually looking at opportunity to address them. Hi, Ritu. Hi, Adya. Hi. Hi. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. So we actually decided let's go live. I got, we got a little delayed today because uh, there was a, a delay in a session that I was doing. And thank you. Sorry about that, uh, Smita. Hi, hi, Mariah. Hi, Ami. Hi, hi, how are you guys? So we've yes, got yes. Ami coming from London and quite a few of... Uh, uh, good. Hi, Anupam. So the idea is, Smita, so there is a couple of questions I've already got in my inbox. So I'm going to just start yeah. shooting so them let's, out. Let's and, yes. Hi, Ami. Do give us any questions you have, Ami, as well. Okay. So uh, we have this one question. There is a little bit of very young uh, students who are really don't know about their careers because the market has crashed. And there's a lot of concern that is happening right now, uh, Smita, you know. Yeah, so, uh, so how can they deal with that? I mean, of course, they're taking online courses. They're doing whatever they can to keep themselves engaged. Yet the question is, how do they keep always optimistic? So I'm constantly getting this question. So I thought, let me, in different forms. So how do they remain optimistic? Um, well, I, I am really, uh, I understand what, uh, students, college and school students can be going through just now uh, with their studies and education, lot, lots of them have not finished the exams and all kinds of things are happening and they don't know where the future stands for them. So just now we are all in a dilemma. Everything is in a dilemma. Nothing is moving. Everything is static. So um, what I feel at the moment, take each day as it comes. Whatever you can do online, whatever you can uh, learn from wherever you can, do it. But be prepared that, okay, you might have to miss a year. It's not a big deal if you miss a year. So don't get frightened about it. Oh, I'll miss a year. It's fine. Nobody uh, bothers about you once you're successful, once your education is over. Nobody's going to ask you, uh, did you miss a year? And everybody knows this COVID situation just now. So be prepared for that. And I'm, I have a very strong feeling that, that the future will open up something very huge for you. You know, so that is uh, one thing which you have to be very uh, confident about and sure about. I believe in this one fact that uh, the creator knows his creation. So everywhere in the world, if every person who's a student, who's a uh, graduate, who's in corporates, who, who are housemakers, who are actors, every field is shaken just now. Every field is going through a turmoil just now. And we have to just go through this, handle it, and let's see what opens up. And I'm sure something else will open up which will be much better than what the situation is now. Because things are Correct. in transition. And the transformation Correct. is going to happen. Which way it's going to happen, nobody knows. Nobody knows. So we just have to wait and watch. And uh, just, just keep your cool, just stay there, just hang on, keep in prayer. Things will definitely open for the better. That's all I can tell People at the moment, I know what kind of an education they will be going through. I mean, I can quite understand that. And I think also, you know, Smita, there is another question that came up today, uh, in, uh, not today, yesterday on my inbox. And that is, uh, is a very, uh, very sweet question saying that, ma'am, you're always positive, And uh, how come you, how can you remain positive at all times? So I just wanted to share this perspective, you know, Smita, there are also, you know, it's just a, everything is just so relevant, you know, uh, and also it is relative. So when you yes. say positive, positive is not only a state of mind. It is something yes. that it one really, uh, it takes, uh, you, it's about witnessing what you're going through. It's about being aware. So I'll tell yes. you what happened to me today. And I want to share this very, very openly. I've been doing back-to-back -back sessions. I have a throat ache. I was, in, I was not feeling very optimistic in the morning, I must tell you. I was not negative or positive. I was not very optimistic. I was like, oh, God, I've got a full day of coaching and my throat is not holding up. And I have to tell you, I call up a few friends. They gave me a few haldi, falana, dimkana, have. So I've been really taking care of my throat. And then there was this biggest thing that I did. And that is I reached out to two, three of my friends. And just to talk to them because they had so much love for me and just spoke with them and I said, you know what? I want your help. 
and these are the things we don't say you know and it really yeah. helped me you know we don't reach out we just so busy thinking that we have got all the answers like Absolutely. smita you sat and you told me take care of your throat sit in mona so i sat mm. in mona uh, someone mm. else said uh, uh, you know make sure you drink haldi uh, ka pani i did that and the third girl i just spoke to her because i said you know let me chill with her and would believe it when i sat in mona between that time to today mona means silence between that time to now my throat ache has bettered by at least 60% You're sounding much and better. And I could do it. Th- yeah, yeah I did. And I just finished a three and a half hour session, but still yeah. my voice is bullion. So uh, you know, just a little bit of being with yourself, like you're saying, goes such a long way. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Just, just yeah. Just hold on there, and this is the <coughs> best time to connect with that creator, with that source. I mean, you may believe or you may not believe, but we have come from that source, which we cannot deny. There is someone who's. Uh, doing all this right? there's one force which is that done all this and this it may be nature it could be mother earth it could be anything you want but there is some guiding force which is doing all this so connect with that whatever you may call it with whatever way or form you want to report with doesn't matter just connect with it and say just give me that strength to go through right. this open up something new for me you will get because at the moment the whole atmosphere is so clear Prayers are reaching very fast, and manifestation is happening. It's happening like this. Try, yeah, yeah. just try. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. So we have one more question, uh, Smita, and this is uh, that uh, someone wrote about breath, <laughs> breath watch. Are there any tips that you can give for any particular kind of breath work? So if you could share that, especially to uh, manage stress, any breath work you can share, Smita. to manage uh, stress you have only one type if you are watching breath you just have to keep your attention on the nostrils just watch okay. the breath in and out now when you are okay. doing breath watch it's a silent meditation your mind goes in a split second it's all over the place whenever you realize you have to get it back here now this kind of a meditation is one breath washing or you can do anulom vilom like nadi shodhan jo bolte hain Now, people who know yoga, okay. they know about Anulom Vilam. We have learnt it in the ashram, uh, Sushma. Uh, or, or yeah. Hold it. Yeah. Breathe in from the right nostril. Hold for some time. Then breathe out from the left nostril. Hold again. Breathe in from the left nostril, and you know like, that kind. Of- the left. So, ha. Huh. That's that's the breath and breathe uh, out. Nadi Shodhan. Correct. Correct. Nadi Shodhan helps a lot in calming down. Okay, these two form the breath. Now, when you do Nadi Shodhan, correct. Hi. What what happens is you are uh, attentive about it. So you are your attention is there. You have to keep your attention. Take it from the right. Hold. Then leave it from the left. Hold. You know you are you are attentive about it. But only doing plain breath watch, your mind goes all over the place. So I okay. would advise a uh, anulom vilom to begin with, or do an active meditation. Like I always say, that do a chakra meditation at the moment. This chakra meditation, whoever I've been telling them to, to do it in about yeah. eight days time, Fushma, they are finding yeah. so much of stability and so much like stirta aagi. You know that that feeling of what what am I going to do in that frenzy? They have calmed down. Correct. All the people I'm talking to, I said, just start doing the. Chakra Dhyana. Now, where to find the Chakra Dhyana? It's there on my YouTube channel. Again, I'll repeat. Yeah, it's yeah. It's the Chakra Meditation for Beginners on my YouTube channel. So go there, see it, and please start doing it. These two forms of meditation, uh, they are not uh, only Hinduism related or any ism related Correct. or any religion related. They are absolutely um, uh, forms where every human being on earth can do it. There has got nothing to do with uh, whichever religion, whatever, whoever you believe. Yeah, so, it's nothing. It's basically it's about centering our energy. It's Shmai about centering our energy. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me I now? I can hear you, Sushma. Oh God, one second. Can you hear me now? No. You can you hear me your, now? Uh, okay. Can you hear me now? No. I, I it's on now. Now can you hear me? Can you hear me? I now? can't hear you at all. Oh God, what happened now? <laughs> Again, I go. I again, I go hunting. Again, I go hunting for Wi-Fi in my house. This is the most exciting part of my life. So, have can you, you hear me now? Audio. No, I haven't. Can you hear me now? I can't hear you at all. No. 
not do you not want to reconnect do you want I'll to reconnect, reconnect. you are both yeah. but oh, i can't okay. i can't hear her so i don't know what to answer her <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Chishma, connect again. Are you connecting again? Yeah, we're waiting for Sushma to get in again. Hello, I'm ah, back. I see Tony. <laughs> What's wrong? You know, just put I'm like, I'm like, yeah, no, Can no, I don't know what it's been. I've become like that alien, no, who's waiting to be beamed back to its uh, uh, to its uh, planet. Shall I reconnect? I go home. Something has gone wrong somewhere. Shall yeah, I reconnect? No, it's fine. Can you? Yeah, I'll me? reconnect. Uh, Anjita and all okay. of you, please hold on. I'll we will reconnect. Yeah, we'll end this and we'll yeah. reconnect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll reconnect. <laughs>